Howdy everybody, Belly the Hell Belly here. Uh, today's story is called A Rabbit Concentration. Have you ever tried to outstare a rabbit? You do realize you're going to lose. The big, round, unblinking eyes fix on an object, and the animal doesn't move unless it is to, about to start to run. You see, a rabbit sees in all, every direction. And that's because of the placement of its eyes on either side of its head. And it is dependent on the keen eyes and the fast running for protection. When a rabbit concentrates on staring at you, there is a reason to believe that it blocks out all other things except something else that might move and suggest danger. When rabbits are born, they are blind, naked, and totally helpless. Now, within 10 days, their eyes are big and round, and in 14 days, they hop along behind their mother. The only animal that is fast enough to outrun a rabbit, even at this young age, is a coyote, which, e which can travel at 45 miles an hour. You see, the rabbit is poised for flight at all times. The next time you see one, stand still and watch it. You will see it jerk its muscles, always ready to leap. At the same time, it will be staring at you through those unblinking eyes. You are its whole subject of concentration at that particular moment. And if you so much as make one move that it interprets as danger, it will be running off in a flash. But if you watch long enough, it will probably go back to eating but it will continue to keep its attention focused on you in case you prove to be dangerous. The rabbit coordinates all its actions through its eyes and the messages it gets from what it sees. Its simple brain is programmed to tell it when it is time to run or when it is safe to stay. It never quits being watchful and it's always ready to respond to danger. And as we go about our daily tasks, we would do well to remember the rabbit and keep our eyes wide open for danger. For as our text warns us, Satan is ever on the move looking for his prey. And I can tell you, and I am sure he is especially watchful to catch some Christian off guard. And our text for today comes from 1 Peter, and it comes from chapter 5, verse 8. It's from the New King James Version. It says, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. You need to stop and think like us rabbits. You need to keep your eyes open and be watchful. Remember, sin fascinates before it assassinates. Y'all have a blessed Sabbath.